Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and today we are going to do a, do a tutorial on how to make a flashlight light ta type object in Blender Game Engine. It will be able to turn on and off, run out of batteries, and then be able to reset when it hits a battery type object such as that. Uh, for a demo of it, which we will eventually end up on, uh, with textured mute mode on and GLSL shading, with rise and color and stuff set to lower values, turn on, the timer goes up, oh, and you're about to run out of batteries, it turns off, you go up, you hit the battery with the correct bound box on there, you're able to turn it on again, See, turn it on, and turn it off, timer stops, and then, oh, can't turn it back on until you hit the battery again, which, um, can change this if you want. So, to do this, it will eventually end up looking all oh, after you have selected the uh, lamp or flashlight light object, which is the which I have set to a spot. You'll want to go into the logic editor, and these aren't there right now. Ignore all this. Okay, so you want to set it up like this pretty much uh, with one mouse button on here and six properties underneath that uh, name them such as this with the right click on off no bat able not able on and then the and controllers you want to have seven of those seven and controllers and I named them A through G and then on the actuator side um, you want to name it just like this with these here turn on turn off tog on add timer not able able off and reset timer for those okay so back to the sensors when the sensors for our click is obviously right button on your mouse and you want to set that to tap on the second one which is on you want to set that evaluation type to equal property on which will be the three properties you will now add which is a t which is one which is a float it's called timer it's not the property timer it's just it's the type float but it's called timer don't get those two confused there's a difference the next one you want to call able, A B L E, uh, not as in Kane and able. Uh, and you want that to be a Boolean, and you want to check that. And then the next one you want to be called on, and that also be a Boolean but not checked. So then you'll be able to s check this on value here, and you want to check if it's true. Then for the next one, off same it's still checking the value on here but except we want to see if that is false or not checked so if that's not checked which would be true right now then you want to check um, uh, the value timer and this will be how much battery time your flashlight has it's an interval because the flashlight will rarely ever equal the exact value that you put in. So you want it to be an interval of whatever the value you want to turn off at and just the next integer up. And so it will turn off after four seconds pretty much. And that will check the timer uh, property. The next one you want to have on able. You want to check to see if able here is true. So it is able to do it. That's why I named it able. The next one you want to have not able. Uh, it's still checking the property able here, except you want to see if that's false. So those two are going to see if the flashlight has the ability to be turned on and off. It's different than if it is on or off. It's just going to check whether it can be turned on or off. And that will be whether it runs out of batteries. And then the last one, it will be on with the add timer in parentheses because it's the same thing as this on up here, except 
that instead it has this pulse timer here which is important for adding the timer uh, value here constantly instead of just one time. It has to do with the blender's physics ticks. Um, and you want to set the evaluation type to equal and you want to check if it's on so if the value is on then it will constantly add to the timer. Okay now after minimizing all of the sensors on the left side now to hook them up to the AND controllers or the add controllers actually no just AND controllers uh, in the middle. So first we have the R click we want to set that to be on A B and F. So it goes A, B, and F. The next one is on, and we want that to be on B, D, and F. So B, D, and F. The next one is off. We want that just to be set to A. So that is set to A. The next one is no batteries or no bat. We want that to be set to C. So that's connected to C. The next one we have is able. We want that to be set to A and B. So that's set to A and B. The next one we have is not able and we only want that to be set to D. So not able is set to D. The next one we have is on and add timer in parentheses and we want that to be set to G. Now you notice I had this one here collision set to E and that is basically going to be later is it's going to be the batteries is whenever the character hits the batteries or the property hit which is one of the batteries uh, properties it will be hit to E but for now just um, you can leave E blank and so ignore that line right there so that's how to set um, hook those up to the AND controller now to set up the right side before we actually figure out what each one of these actuators do just to hook them up we want to this is what it will look like in the end so take a good look at that because that's what we'll end up being we want to just delete all those we want to set up and controller A to be to turn on and also to toggle on or tog on and B will be set to turn off and tog on so both of those will tog it on or off C will be connected to just not able because that will be set to no batteries so that will make it not able to be turned on or off D will be connected to turn off and off. So it will do the animation and it will also set the property to off. E will be set to able and it will also be set to reset timer. You see this is the one uh, that will be connected to the hit the battery property which will uh, reset the timer and make it able to be used again. Then we have F here which will be set to turn off and uh, no, that's it. And then G here will be set to add timer. So that is what it looks like for this. Ignore this here. Now that you have that all connected up nicely, we want to configure them. So the first action, which is called turn on, we want to set that to the lamp action or whatever the flashlight's name action uh, uh, ones are. Uh, we want to check continue uh, here if it's not already. And whatever keyframes you have set to uh, from to turn on the flashlight which is uh, in my case 0 and 5 so when it when the when the spot when the when the keyframe at 5 is reached 
the lamp is turned to energy 3 which is on so we have the start zero and because of a weird if it doesn't happen for you uh, don't follow this step but it has a weird tendency to sort of go back a keyframe so it gets brighter and then darker so I set this in keyframe to 5.1 and that sort of gets me more consistent results in what the on value for the lamp is. We also want to set the priority of that to 1 because it will be under the priority of turning it off. The next one it will be turn off. It's very similar except it's going to be the off keyframes which in my case is 5 to 10 so at value 5 on the slider here it's 3 and at value 10 it is 0 and I did that um, 10.1 instead of just 10 to try to get more consistent results again make sure that's clicked but make sure that's also at priority 0 which it should be already and these are both play by the way for the next one we have tog on and that will just be the this is the start of the properties it will toggle the property on on or off or check that it will be cha toggle the property on checked or not checked true or false which uh, on the sensor side you saw that we set many of them to true and false so this will check this will change the flashlight state to be on or off. The add timer is basically the timer we set up here which is the float. It's going to add values 0 0.01667 and what that does is because of the blender's physics um, speed it will act like a normal timer that you would have like a stopwatch and so whenever that value is on, it will consistently add this value to timer. Uh, the next one we have is not able, which is means the flashlight is not able to be turned on or off, and it will set the value or the property able here to be false or unchecked, and that will mean that you you can't turn on and off the flashlights and that's connected to C which is connected to the interval sensor which we have set up which is basically when it runs out of batteries it will not be able to do anything with your flashlight the next one is able this one is assign the value able to be true so when you run into the batteries you'll it will reset the uh, able here to be true so you'll be able to use it more and then the next one is property off so this will basically um, ta this is when it toggles um, this will turn off the flashlight uh, I think when either the battery this will turn off the flashlight when the battery is out which is because of the interval or you click the right click button and it's able to be right clicked and it you, you're able to turn it off and that will be property on and it'll set that to false so that it's off or on is false so it's off and then the last one here is reset timer and that will be when you hit the battery it will assign the timer property zero so basically recharging your batteries the time when time is zero your battery is full when the time is whatever value you have on the interval the first one that will basically be how when your battery is dead so the timer is basically your battery feature and the reset timer is set there and that's how you hook up the actuator now that you have the sensors the and controllers and the actuators all set up we need to set up the hit uh, color collide sensor on your character so that whenever the person character hits the battery object it uh, resets the timer and makes your flashlight be able to turn on and off and stuff like all that good stuff so first you want to click on your battery object and you want to give it a property oh wrong, wrong one property called hit so as a game property, 
it uh, just to float is fine you want to go back here and then you want to click on your character mesh or the hit mesh and then you want to shift click on your uh, flashlight or lamp object and you want to go back to the no uh, logic editor and this is where I have the collision set up so the man here is that cube that I had set up as the collision and whenever that hits the property hit which is the battery battery's pro, uh, property yeah is connected up to E here which then does the resetting of the time and sets able to be one again which is so that's it I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and that I hope that it works out correctly and you have no issues with it if you have any issues please leave a comment in the comment section below and either I or someone else will hopefully be able to get to it and if you have any solutions to those problems please respond to those who have the problems or even if no one has stated them yet please put them down in the comment section below and that would be greatly appreciated so that we can get this to work 100 percent if for some reason there's a glitch in it that I have not been able to find but as far as I can tell this thing works perfectly